Okay, guys, I found original. One of the type of forts I always loved. And I told you before, if I find them, I'm gonna make a video on them. It's a 71 Ford Grand Torino. You got it. It's got a 351. It's got blue on black exterior paint, black interior. Oh yeah, this is a nice one, y'all. Let's take a look at it. This thing is really nice. I'm pretty sure it's original, all original. See the Grand Torino down there. It doesn't have that iconic stripe that goes from here all the way back, but who cares? It's still a Torino. Nice exhaust tip sticking out the back. Chrome bumpers really look nice going all the way across there. Nice shine off of it. Same thing with the spoiler. Nice and clean. Let's look at the trunk. The spoiler on it looks smaller, don't it? See your reflection in that thing. Pretty clean. Back window looks really nice. The glass looks really nice. The trim to it. Look at the roof. See how the lights shine off the top of that thing, man? This thing's been well kept. Been well kept. I'm not finding many nicks or scratches on it, but it's been a well kept car. And uh, look at the trim going all the way down. The glass looks nice and clean, you know, without any type of neglect to it or whatnot. Let's take a look at the driver's side door. See, we get a good look at this interior. And uh, from that back seat, from what I can see, going to the back board where the speakers are, that thing is really nice. That black leather interior, just like the front seat here. Split bench, you guys, split bench. Automatic, three-speed automatic. I'm pretty sure you could have got better packages. You know, but this thing is pretty clean. Dashboard looks really nice and clean. Let's go to the other side. Yeah, these Grand Torinos had an excellent look. That aggressive, it reminded me of a bird, like a hawk or falcon type look from the front and look at from the side of it. An aggressive type of look. Bird of prey, I should say. Got your GT badges right down there. Grand Torino. Nice clean glass right there. These rims on here and all the trims are looking really nice on this thing. Nice and clean. I'm not finding many nicks on this thing. If anything, it'd probably be pretty small. Something that you would miss. But like I was always told, look at the back to make sure that that thing hasn't deteriorated. And this one here looks very, very clean. It looks really clean back here. That's what I was always told about the Torinos. Look at the back and make sure that it's intact. And this one is, see the exhaust down there? Those are pretty big pipes put down there, man. That 351 is gonna be breathing. Pretty sure this thing's fast as heck too. You know. Never got to ride in a Torino when I was a kid, but I saw these cars everywhere. Column shifter, no floor shifter, not even stick shift, but hey, can't always have what you want. <laughs> 
And look at that headliner. Headliner looks nice. Really nice. Yep. This is a clean Torino. Here at Gateway Classics. Here we go. You guys, look it up while they still got it. Hey guys, I found something really nice this time. I found a 1984 Chevy Camaro IROC Z, Z28 with a 5.0 liter motor. It's got a four barrel overhead valve, high output. If I didn't say it before, I'm saying it again. High output, okay? So now we know what we got here. Let's take a good look at it. Nice front end. Nice front end. Nice and clean. As I'm looking at it, as I walk up on it, I find maybe a few little nicks and little doodads right here, like right at the very tip. You know, there ain't nothing for you to repaint. Ain't nothing for you to fix. But everything you got out on the market today, and with today's technology, you can fix anything on a car. Take it right out the junkyard and have it look brand new the next day if you can do it that way. <laughs> you know? This thing is very clean. Those are the original IROC rims for these things, too. You know, IROC Z. As you see down here, Z28 5.0 liter, high output. Mustangs used to have the same thing on it, high output. You know, this thing is very, very nice. Very, very nice car. Hatchback. You know, all, yeah, hatchback. Hatchback, you know, the trim with the two tone gray, your exhaust in the back. And guess what? This thing, for it to be as old as it is, I think it said, I look again, the mileage is kind of low, but it's your model. This thing is really, really nice. And uh, you really have to be an IROC fan to appreciate it because you would know everything about this car, you know. It's got a little few problems that you may find right down there, but hey, this thing is in excellent condition. This car is really nice and clean. So let's take a look at the specs real quick. 54,000 miles, yeah. 54,002 miles on this thing. And they're asking 21,000 miles, uh, $21,500 for it. So it's up to you if you think you can afford it. So be it if you like this car. For everything that it offers, going back in the day, this is a really nice, clean Chevy IROC, you know, here at Gateway Classic Cars. Look at the interior. This is nice. This is how it used to be back in the day. You know, it's almost no sense of looking in the back because it was like you could only put little kids back there. This was a basically a two-seater car without being a two-seater car, you know. That's just how it was. And the classic Z28 in the dash, you know. That's just how it was, baby. I got to see more of these and Mustangs, so I know. I know how it was. I rode in them, you know. And also, what's nice about this car, if you like them, T-tops. I wasn't a true fan of T-tops myself, but when you pull them tops off, this car was sharp, man. This was sharp. Let's take a look at the driver's side. Oh yeah, look at this instrumental. I mean, this thing is showing everything the way it was when it first came out the factory. Oh yeah, these things were beautiful, man. Really beautiful. This car is a nice one, a nice find, an 84. Cause I'm sure if somebody buy this thing, They'd be more than happy to have it and then fix her up even more. You never know what you could do with this thing. Yep, very nice IROC Z here at Gateway Classic Cars in Crete, Illinois. Give them a call, look them up online. This is a new arrival, by the way. <laughs>